Coming in quick with my boy in blue right here. What's up, my dude? What up, man? What up? <laughs> so we're here to uh, review some uh, uh, a scary movie. Are you are you yeah. down with the sickness, as they say, as a young yeah, kid? Yeah, man, said? scary. You asked me to review this movie with you, uh, which is a good one, but nothing, <laughs> and I mean nothing, is scarier than Game Four last night, <laughs> the Dodgers and Tampa Bay Devil Rays. <laughs> that sh- shit had my heart. Just, I'm fucking. I couldn't sleep last night, man. Not this isn't the podcast, dude. Let's <laughs> we're, we're we're yeah, we're... I know, man. I just oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, nice Look, mug. Dude, I got Drake tears. <laughs> yeah. I got me. I got some some uh, serious gourmet shit. Oh shit! Come That's on, a fucker. sick segue, dude. It's a sick <laughs> segue to this movie. <laughs> um. We okay? So we are reviewing from dusk till dawn. Dusk till dawn. Yeah. Um. In my opinion. Uh, the only movie where Tarantino's acting is bearable. <laughs> it's like that's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Actually, you're right, dude. He, I do like him in this movie. He 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 does nail it. I you're mean, right. no, I, there's some scenes where he talks a little weird. Uh, yeah. He you uh, know, it's between this one and I like him in Pulp Fiction. He he was really good as a uh, as a what's his name? As a Jimmy. Yeah, I like him in that that role too. Don't fucking Jimmy me, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but this one he was really good, dude. Like, I, I like him in this movie. Like, um, so this is a Robert cool, Rodriguez but, movie. Robert Rodriguez movie, yes, yes. And I did some uh, half-ass internet research. I like that. And, uh, I like half-ass. That's my style, dude. Yeah, yeah. This is Tarantino's first paid writing gig. Okay. Can you believe that shit? That's crazy. This is the nineties. This is ninety-six. Shit. Which yeah. mean which means a uh, true romance he already wrote. I guess he wrote it for free. And uh, Pulp Fiction, uh, Jackie Brown, Reservoir Dogs, those were all done already. And so what? What are you? What are you saying? He didn't get paid for those? Well, I guess the the writing portion. Oh, okay. So the yeah. directing part, that's that's where he got his money. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, this is half ass internet research. You know, that's fine. Fuck, what do that's I know? fine. What I, the fuck that's fine. That's as as far as I know, that's accurate. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm drinking um, out of a cup that says Drake Tears. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> that's that's also factual. <laughs> yeah. So let, let's uh, let's get into this movie, dude. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This movie, I love this movie because it's fun, dude. It's yeah. The the effects are really dope. Um, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I think they're fucking dope. I wouldn't say that. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. okay. Well, let let from okay. Let's um with these reviews. What I like doing uh, this is art, by the way. Did I say that? <laughs> doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um. Okay. So. It's all gold here, buddy. It's all gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's... Mind so... you, I, I don't wear these... Po- I mean, if you see me on the other podcast, I don't wear these glasses too often. Uh-huh. I mean, I wear them, but not for the podcast because it has a reflection the, or whatever. Because the glare, yeah. But I wore them for this movie, for this review, because I... Just for that scene alone where Tarantino goes, Fuck, Seth, it's like my only pair. <laughs> When he, you know, when when the uh, when fucking uh, Clooney knocks him out in the bathroom and he wakes up and they're in Mexico already. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he tries to put his like, what the fuck happened to my glasses? Fuck, Seth, it's like my only pair. He, he was he was getting he was getting real he was getting real um uh, real annoying, right? And then yeah, he, just, yeah. he gives him he gives him one of those. Boom. <laughs> he, yeah, mind you, he plays the perfect little brother. He does. He, he does. plays the perfect little brother to Clooney's older brother. Like it, it's perfect. Like their their interaction back and forth. Yeah. Like, I it's mean, just, it's, it's fucking awesome. Dude. I don't know how much they look alike, but uh, but I'm no, still. That is, you know, but they're yeah, they're per, like their probably, actions. Their yeah. is a fucking dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give me one night with them, dude. And I didn't know this was Clooney's first uh like, like a uh, starring role. Like he was a TV actor before this. Right. It's yeah, crazy. yeah. What was he? Yeah. Was he on General Hospital or something like that? What like are, I think ER or General Hospital, one he, of the two. Same show. Yeah. But yeah, he, yeah, he was on shit. there. So um. Well, right, anyway, so, before we get off on off track here, go ahead. Um, so like with these reviews, what I like doing before we get into spoilers and all that, just um, we laid laid down the foundation of this movie, and yeah. then we then we get into that nasty, nasty. You know what I mean? All right, go for it. <clears throat> oh, I'm doing it. I thought you were my guest, bro. <laughs> what's this movie about, well, Art? Very uh, lightly, what's this movie about, and then we'll get into it. Two brothers that are on the run. 
on the road again on the run in texas uh they're on the run from a for a robbery or something they're trying to get to the border before they get caught and they have some deal already done in the border Mm -hmm. and as they get to mexico the movie totally just fucking flips Okay, and so let's leave it. A fuck, and let's leave it there. <laughs> let's yeah. leave it there. That's it. It's just yeah. two brothers on the run. Yeah, it was like a like a robbery murder. Like, <laughs> yeah, it starts stop. Which might I say that convenience store scene in the beginning? That's a fucking scene, dude. Right. So let's okay. Every, let's that, let's get into that yeah. scene. Let's uh let's break that down. Yeah, man, I, I haven't seen this movie in years, mind you. So I watched it maybe a night or two ago, and mm-hmm. I, I popped it on. And I was like. I forgot how great this scene was, like the beginning. And overall, I'm gonna compare it to other Tarantino flicks. So mm-hmm. I honestly think I think Tarantino directed the first half of this movie. It seems like it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It so does. Tarantino, let's 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 say that Tarantino wrote this movie, but Robert Rodriguez made it happen. That's yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. it went down. So yeah, yeah. And I did some more half-assed internet research. So <laughs> George Clooney's role was supposed to be with that guy from Dawn of the Dead or Day of the Dead. Which guy? The lead guy from Day of the Dead. The the. From Day of the Dead. Yeah. Um. The. I don't know Joe something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm. I'm, it I'm, wasn't... I'm. I have. I have somebody in mind. Is I don't know if it's like the the main bad guy from Donna from Day of the no, Dead. Yeah. He's a yeah. Oh, he's a Don. No, you know what? I think it's Dawn of the Dead. You know how there's that uh, there's four guys trapped in the in the mall or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or uh, yeah, yeah, and three guys. So I think the main white guy. Okay. Okay, so that to, he, he was supposed to be George Clooney. Yeah, I guess he. Uh, I guess Clooney um, uh, Tarantino wrote it with him in mind. Hmm. Yeah, we need Clooney. Half dude. A, half-ass internet research. That's fine. Know. That's fine. We yeah. need Clooney though. That dude, like yeah. we said before, he's a dream boat. Always will be. There's some, <laughs> but you know why I think uh, Tarantino direct I, again. I don't know shit, but you know why I think he he uh, directed the first like half of that movie. Let's hear it. Because if you notice, every beginning of a Tarantino flick is like epic. It's like memorable. It's true. That and that the beginning of that movie and they're in the convenience store, there's like the just typical back and talk between the sheriff and the guy the convenience store worker. Mm-hmm. The clerk. Like it's just normal shit. They're not on nowhere. This motherfucker comes out with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> so so, Clo- so Clooney and, and Tarantino are hiding in the bathroom. But you don't know no, they're that. they're hiding in, in the back of the convenience store. Oh right, right. right. When, well either yeah, way they're hiding. And yeah. you don't you don't know that right away. So it's just yeah, they the, have hostages. Yeah. So it's the convenience store guy. Um, talking to the sheriff, and he's playing it cool. He's not like, like, hey, I got people back there trying to make signals. He's just playing it cool because that's what they and told it, him. Like, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> no, because in fact, as you say that, when Clooney points the gun at his head, the convenience store clerk actually says, "I mean, uh, under the circumstances, I deserve a fucking Oscar for how cool I'm acting." <laughs> and honestly, he did, dude. He does. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> that dude's a great actor. I forget that dude's name. But I've yeah, seen I've him. Seen, I've, he feels like one of those actors that I've seen in the movies like a bunch of times, but I really could care less. <laughs> You're yeah. fucked up. You're fucked up. Yeah. This dude's pretty, pretty. Uh, he's pretty top notch, honestly. Uh, if he was top notch, you would know his name. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll give you that. <laughs> no, but the, that he killed it. Even for that five minute scene he's in, he killed it. So that sheriff, um, Tarantino, yeah. and Robert Rodriguez have used them multiple times. The same role. As, as a sheriff, same role, which yeah, is crazy. It just role. that if anything connects Does he all those. Does die uni- in every movie? Um, no, because on Death Proof he's alive. Yeah, he doesn't he is. die in Death De- Proof. He's in Death Proof and in Planet Terror. Same, same sheriff. He, I think he dies in Planet Terror. Um, I don't remember. That's it sounds right, but he he also played. He's um this guy's name is Michael Parks. Oh, I got you. One of the greatest character actors of all time, dude. That motherfucker killed it. Have you ever seen the movie um, Red State? I can't yeah, I did. I, that, that's a crazy fucking movie. That's him. I don't know if you knew that. That that main yeah, yeah. cult he's leader. The, he's the main guy. Yeah, he, that, that's his like. I don't want to say breakout role, but that was the one where there was talks of him. He should have been nominated for like an Academy Award. He or something. really should have, dude. Yeah. The movie after that was Tusk, and that was his last movie. He passed away after that, dude. Oh, 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 he passed away. Yeah, he passed away. Oh, I didn't even know that. R.I.P. Yeah, re- re- recently. Uh and probably not recently now it's been a few years but wow yeah i didn't know that yeah but um but uh definitely rest in peace for that dude yeah but that because whole he's, opening yeah he kills that it beast yeah but that whole opening scene man that that was that's up there with any tarantino like opener to me 
to like me. the 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 freaking restaurant scene in Pulp Fiction, the yeah. restaurant scene in uh, Reservoir Dogs. Like if, like if you want to rank them, if you want to rank them, to, to me, overall, the best opening scene of a Tarantino. I mean, I know it's a Robert Rodriguez flick, but let's, let's be real here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's call it what it is. Uh, it's uh, Inglorious Bastards, that opener. Number one. The, the I'm glad tension? you said that, dude. I'm glad you yeah, said the, that, dude. They could, just that scene alone on, on um, Inglorious Bastards, you could make uh, like a Broadway play out of it. Dude. I, just the opener. That, that, that whole scene is, that yeah. whole scene, that's but a that's, scary movie, I'm, dude. <laughs> like shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. But this one was, dude, this one was really, really good. Like this opener. Right, and yes. I, 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 I can see what you're saying though. It does have a, a Tarantino yeah. feel to it. Like I don't, it, it's yeah, it's cool, it's scary, it's thrilling. Like you don't know what's gonna happen, and the movie just started. Right, and you're right. like you're lost, but you're like this shit is crazy, it's and true. they look cool doing it. Every everybody <laughs> looks fucking cool in this movie. They they hold like, their guns yeah, they, cool. They fucking yeah. <laughs> Tarantino they has Tarantino. the glasses, so he has whoever, his character. Like, the, the yeah, whoever was the the designer, or whatever the clothes, whatever who's in charge of that. Top notch, man. Top mm-hmm. notch. I, Tarantino even look cool. He never looks cool. He, he doesn't. He doesn't know how to dress himself. <laughs> he tries. Yeah, dude. <laughs> have you yeah. seen? Have you ever seen um, set photos from Kill Bill? Mm. Oh yeah, he looks like shit. When they're 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 doing the the um the Oren scene where you know he's fighting the crazy eighty eight and all that. Yeah. Or not he um the bride she's yeah, f- fighting Bill everybody. Thurman, yeah. Um. Well, he's like he's like in the back wearing a suit, but he just looks all fucking like it doesn't really fit him properly. He's a little, he's a little too much of a chunklet, you know what I mean? He's yeah. The the guy's a weirdo, but his brain he knows how to like put it out there to the world, and it's his hard. brain be like, good. Yeah, his brain be. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I can't say enough about the opening scene of this movie. I, it's, it's fucking. I could watch that over and over again. The it's really scene. fucking sick. It really, it really is, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and okay. it, it's, it's, yeah, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. I'm listening. Oh. Even the whole thing where they were, uh, right after the convenience store blows up and they they just went in for a roadmap, which fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they went in for. So you automatically know in the first five minutes of the scene, who's the, who's the, the alpha? Clooney. Which is, yeah, Seth. Uh, with, with the fucking, those, those tattoos did not age well, by the way. The whole fucking nineties, uh, super weird, super weird tribal, like, tribal shit. Even back then, when when I first saw it, it's like it look, it looks off. Yeah, like, it looks I, like I, uh, somebody from the Jersey Shore should have had that. Like it's like weird, but anyway, <laughs> tattoos. But, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, but you could tell right, like for the first five minutes of the movie, you're like, all right, this is the alpha, and he's the little brother, the cycle little brother. Yeah, to say the least. The, like, just, uh, yeah, because he, he's a. George Clooney, he even says it like when they, because you know when they're driving and you see the girl, like they have that like little bubble thing, and then you see the girl mm-hmm. in the trunk of the car, the hostage. Right. And they get back to the hotel. You kn- and you knew George Clooney was going to go get out and get some food. Mm-hmm. And he left Richie, which is Tarantino. He left you, them there. With, you knew it was all bad. shit was going to be bad, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Tarantino's a fucking psychopath in this movie, dude. Well, like in, in, the, in that opening scene that you're talking about, um, so the 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 sheriff and the and the clerk are talking or whatever and they're playing it cool and the and the guys just kind of trying to get him out of there but yeah playing yeah. it cool you know and the sheriff's like hey I you know I gotta use your shitter real quick yeah he goes in there and when he does that um, Clooney and Tarantino pop up and they're like what the fuck get him out of here like he's like I'm trying dude I can't tell him don't use the restroom that's a little <laughs> yeah, more suspicious yeah. yeah exactly and then Tarantino starts like hey he was signaling him. Like, yeah, he said, "Help us." Yeah, help us. <laughs> I clearly saw him mouth the word "help us." Like, <laughs> he did not say that. At nothing. All. He's like, what the "Fucking damn! What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> but it's crazy because it, it actually shows you Tarantino and Clooney how tight they are. Like, no matter what, this month I'm on his side. That's like, that's. He um, has Tarantino. He has Tarantino's back till the like. I don't give a shit. You got your brothers like, like that, dude. You got Larry and I Robert do, like that? I do, man. I, I tell them all the time. I got I got you and Javi like that too. Like, yo, dude, if you got, I, if I clearly know you guys are wrong, that's I'm my still boy. Right your back. That's I'm my still boy. Right have your back. I got. We could be at a bar, and you're asking to pick a fight, and it's clearly you're the one drunk. You're the obviously not you, but you're the <laughs> one fucking being stupid. Yeah. I'm still gonna like. All right, man. Let's go. You gotta do what you gotta like, do, man. I'm, yeah, dude. I'm I'm not gonna get my boy get his ass kicked here. I'm I'm gonna you know no. <laughs> Take yeah. your glasses off, dude. You don't want to. I don't want you yelling yeah. at me. It's like my only pair. F- <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that scene, dude. Or that, <laughs> that line. It's good shit, dude. 
Mm. Okay, so yeah, like like that opening scene kind of shows you Tarantino's a little, little yeah. sketchy. So then, like you said, they go, they um, they get a hotel room, and then they sure enough, yeah, they have a, a hostage. Um, yeah. So mind you, this whole the whole before they get to Mexico because they're trying to get to the border. So from the convenience store to them to the hotel to them uh, trying to get to the border, mm-hmm. it's intense. Like it's yeah. Uh, there's no action. There's no nothing going on except for the beginning, maybe a little bit. But it's all like, how are they gonna get there? And then right. you're, you're you're really like on edge. Like, yeah, damn, are they gonna make it past the? They're border? looking out the window, type of thing. Like you, it, you, it's awesome, dude. Even when he uh, knocks on the door to to, because Clooney when, while he's out getting food, he sees uh, the RV, and he, then he has that idea. You can tell in his head, like, ah, that's how I'm gonna get to Mexico. Right, right, right. I'm gonna get this RV, and I'm gonna take hostage these, this uh, this family. Mm-hmm. Which we'll get into in a second because that right. family is fucking like awesome yeah. too. Yeah, they it, it's yeah. fucking dope. Okay, but so even how they when well, they knock on the when Tarantino knocks on the fucking hotel uh, the hotel door, and uh, Harvey Keitel Keitel while he's in he's in this movie, uh huh, he's asleep on his bed trying to get a little nap in. Yeah, and uh, even Tarantino how he knocks on the door and he opens the door. Oh, sorry to bother you, but uh, <laughs> me and my lady friend need an ice bucket in our hotel. hotel our room doesn't have one. Can we borrow yours? I'll bring it right back. <laughs> he does, that's exactly how he says it, dude. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Yeah, dude. He I, does have I a little pop was, at the end, like. Yeah, dude, dude that's, that's fucking awesome, dude. I, I think he knew what he was doing too. Like, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Like, so what happened to what, that Tarantino acting, dude? He, yeah, he yeah. Like, cut, cut to uh, Django, where he's that weird Australian oh, guy. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't want to <laughs> talk about that. Yeah, dude, it's fucking bad. No, but uh, this is so. This is where you meet a uh, Harvey Keitel. You meet a uh, Juliet Lewis, which is in this movie. Kills it. Juliet Lewis and the Licks. I think that's her band. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and well, I had to look her up if she was old enough, and she was twenty one in this movie, so I could talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I know Good she plays know. a teenager. She plays a teenager in the movie. But, yeah, uh, she she plays like she's supposed to be like seventeen or something like. Eight, probably yeah, some, yeah, but somewhere yeah, in there. Uh, so I don't even know if that's. I'm I'm a little confused because they don't really like go, get into detail because I don't know if those are his actual kids. They call him dad and everything. I get it, but yeah, obviously the other. <laughs> The, the other kid's <laughs> Asian. Let's <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Ter- and Seth uh, uh, Clooney says something about that, and I don't want to say it, but he's watched the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, yeah, that kid, but, uh, that kid reminds me of. Um, do you remember Fight Club? The the, the convenience store clerk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy Raymond. That kid yeah, kind of yeah. looks like he grew up to be Raymond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's mainly the haircut. Was, I think. I think the haircut kind of. But well, anyways, I don't think that kids. I don't know why. I, and I would like to know why they chose to, why they chose to use um an, like a Asian kid in that movie. Yeah, there has to be some sign, some sort of backstory. I don't know. Yeah, that's but, a Tarantino uh, thing. Like there was a backstory, but then Rodriguez is like, "Yo, cut this shit, dude!" Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know, but it does. It, I I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say it worked, but. Uh, whatever but it but at the end it did like they and you kind of didn't give a shit like towards the like i don't it doesn't matter <laughs> no it, it was just that initial like wait that's his son why is he asian whatever <laughs> and then it just yeah and then you're yeah. back to the movie you know okay. it's just that quick yeah. like and, and juliette lewis like i don't know she uh she she uh she's at first you're all she's this innocent little girl then towards the end of the movie you're like she's a badass <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking she's crazy dude yeah she's she's pretty crazy um yeah all right, so they they recover everything. So yeah, they oh, they, they no, get into well, that hotel. Yeah, they they had a hostage. Um, Seth's like, hey, I'm gonna go get some food. Tarantino basically, um, he's like, hey, take care of this lady. Just don't oh. do anything. He... No, no, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So through, still to the first half of the movie, you they ha- um, I don't know if you noticed, but right when uh they blow up the convenience store, they're on the run. You hear the news reporter like talking about. Like, oh, these two guys are on the run, and blah, blah, blah. You know who that news reporter is? I can't remember. I haven't seen the movie in Kelly a Kelly Preston. Kelly Preston? Who's that? John Travolta's, uh, oh, R.I.P. because she passed away. But uh, John Travolta's wife. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, she was on Jerry Maguire, the redhead. Uh-huh. And she and she was on uh, tw- uh, Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger's girl on Twins. Ah! Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> very underrated hot chick in the 80s. Man, R.I.P. Man, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. This one's for uh, Kelly. There we go. I mean, take a bigger sip for my- Michael Parks, though. Definitely. <laughs> for sure, dude. I'm gonna chug this shit. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, 
Yeah, dude. That, that the whole beginning of the movie, and then even when they're leading up to like when they're when they take him hostage and they're at the border, the whole banter between uh, Clooney and Harvey Keitel. Harvey, Ke- I'm I'm not too convinced on his his uh, little fake accent, like him, like he's from the south. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of don't believe it. The but... the I mean, I don't know. I saw past the accent just because it's Harvey Keitel, dude. He's gonna. No, kill no, it. I know. Yeah, I know. So... I know. Yeah. But he's so, uh, he's supposed to be a, a pastor, uh, yeah. Yes, so that that's exactly. kind of that's kind of a big thing in the movie. He's yeah, supposed to be, very he's much. Supposed so. to be a, a pastor. Well, actually, a, a ex pastor. He was a pastor. He was because he has, his... this, he has this thing where he's uh he was very religious at one point of his life. Then something happened to his wife, where he mentions in the movie, mm-hmm. and he doesn't believe in God anymore. Like he's yeah. like, I'm done with this. Like I'm I'm done. But he's still like a good guy. Mm-hmm. He just wants to take his family on a road trip, and he runs. Yeah, he still doesn't cuss or anything like yeah. that kind of dude. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. So uh, him and George Clooney's interaction, because as crazy as it sounds, he takes the family hostage, but it's like they almost become friends towards the end. Yeah, for sure. Which is which is kind of crazy. Yeah, and because they trust, Clooney, they, they, Clooney's like, "Hey, I'm gonna point these guns at your whole family and your kids." Yeah. And then later, and it's my like, brother's hey. trying to my brother's trying to get at your daughter, which which is weird. Very weird. <laughs> Very that's, weird. That's because I don't even want to mention the part because it's weird. Because he remember they're in the hotel room and he they, when Julia Lewis comes in for the first time, and and uh, Tarantino's uh, Richie his head is like she says something but it's in his head. What was it in there? or Was it on the bus already? On the no no RV? no they're in the, they're in the hotel. Then they, when they're back in the RV and then he goes up to her like if you still want me to do that thing that you told me back in the oh hotel yeah room, like I, I want you, I'll do you it. want me to say it <laughs> like. Go ahead, man. She, uh, I'll cover my mouth. I don't, I don't, <laughs> yeah. no, um, so like you said, he's imagining her telling him stuff. She's not saying yeah. that at all. She's not saying it at all. Yeah. She's not saying it at all. She's like, Richie, can you lick my pussy for me? And he's like, hmm? like, what's up? What's up with that? What's up, girl? <laughs> like, <laughs> so he brings it up again. And when they're in the RV headed to Mexico and he goes, up, he takes out his retainer first, like, <laughs> which is funny. That's a, that's a little character. A yeah, little, which is a little awesome. extra. So he takes out his retainer and he goes, "Hey, if you still want me to do that thing, like you know, I'll, I'll do it." <laughs> and then she looks so confused, like, "What, what, you... what thing? What are you talking about?" <laughs> then Clooney's like, "Hey, stop talking to him. Like, stop yeah. talking to him." Yeah, you know, oh, we'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk yeah. later. <laughs> 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 she just, was, she was really just funny. makes that face like, "Whatever, dude. Yeah, Whatever." Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. Then, then when they actually get to the border and it, it, it gets intense again, like, "Hey, it's showtime. Everybody, stay cool." That's when Tarantino like, starts acting up a little bit, right? Yeah, they're in the bath in the RV bathroom. It's the three of them: it's Clooney, mm-hmm. Tarantino, and uh, Julia Lewis. Mm-hmm. And they have her at hot, like gunpoint, and so the other two, which is the Harvey Cantel and his son, yeah. are, have to play it cool to get past the border. Mm-hmm. And that's when uh, I think that's Clooney when Cheech Marin that, pops out. You forgot about for Cheech? The, <laughs> yeah, for the first time. For the first time. <laughs> for the exactly. first time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Clooney tells Tarantino, stop acting like a nut and we'll get through this. Yeah. Then Tarantino goes crazy, Richie. Like, what do you right? mean? Like, yeah. yeah. No, I know what you meant, but you also meant the other thing. <laughs> so Clooney's actually over it. Like, he just punches him, knocks yeah. him out. And that's he does a stupid thing where he, like, cracks yeah, his neck, too. Yeah, like a yeah, like a, like a, like a, like a cartoon. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. I've been punched before. You don't want to knock out that easy. Uh, <laughs> and so Juliet Lewis actually says thanks. With with Clooney, it's like he's trying to, he's trying to be their buddy a little bit, but he's clearly like, you know, I'm the alpha. Yeah. You're not gonna run over me. Yeah. And he's still he's still very focused on the mission at he, hand. Like that's I'll, I'll still kill all you motherfuckers, but yeah. I gotta get I gotta get to Mexico. That's my priority. Right. And then yeah. more toward the end, he starts like being cooler with them because well, you know. So well, go go ahead. Well, let, well okay. So when they're at the border, and. Uh, Cheech Marion's. I'm getting on the. I'm getting on the RV because something's funny's going on here. Like, well, because like, because he heard Tarantino fall over and make a big. Yeah, when he punched him. Yeah. So, I guess by Juliet Lewis saying thank you for that, she got on the toilet. You know, and he's still pointing the gun at her. Yeah, it, shower, it was it was funny. How, it was funny how it happened because Cheech because Cheech asked him like, you know, is it just you two? He's like, yep, just me and my son. Oh yeah, just yeah, me yeah. and my son. And then he hears that noise. What was that? Huh? What? What was what? Oh, it's my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just you and your son. Me and my son and my daughter. That's what I meant. Like, <laughs> I forgot to say my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when he gets on. So he oh, he, he opens the door to the bathroom, which is weird because she's like, you know, taking a piss or something. Oh, she's doing yeah, something like. like but little... <laughs> it, it's like, oh, sorry, ma'am. Like, you know, whatever. Right. 
So he's gonna close the door again, but he's as he's closing the the, the sliding door, he's kind of looking though. He like, looked, takes another every peek. little, gain every little peek in, <laughs> like, which is weird, man. Like okay, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, get yeah, your. <laughs> so, yeah, so they finally cross the border, and that's when the movie turns into another movie. It just kind of. Yeah, it's like, well, first of all, they wait. That's when that's when one of my favorite scenes is because when, when remember, mind you, Richie's still knocked out from the punch Seth just gave him. So mm-hmm. when he wakes him up. Oh, hey, buddy, we made it to Mexico. Wake yeah. up. You know, like, oh, we're, I can't see. Where are my glasses? He puts on his glasses. Like, what the fuck? Seth's like my only pair. You know, that's... <laughs> that's a scene. That's good yeah. shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. So, they're, uh, I guess uh, he tells them, go, we're, once we're past Mexico, go straight, and then we're going to make a left on a street called El Gallo. <laughs> just stupid. Yeah. like. And he's like, and after that, you yeah. know, you we just hang out, and then you guys are free and to go pretty much. This, yeah. is, this is where, like, once they crossed the border, like before they crossed the border, I thought this movie was fucking phenomenal. <laughs> and okay, well, well, first of all, per- what, 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 what would you consider the the beginning of this movie? Because the beginning of this movie is not a horror movie; it's a like a what kind of? Now, mind you, I remember wa- renting this movie with my parents when I was twelve or thirteen years old. Same. We rented it, and the cover, you're like, oh, cool, vampires. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when we put it on, I remember we were watching it, me, my mom, my dad, my brother, we're all watching it together. You know, family night. <laughs> watching uh-huh. that. And, oh, uh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> just... I remember looking at Larry. I'm looking at Larry like, I thought this was a vampire movie. We're like, where? I don't know what's going on. Like, what the hell? Is... <laughs> I'm kind of like, did we get the wrong movie? Did they put the wrong VHS in the yeah. in the case? Yeah. I don't know. You know? Right. Uh, yeah, you're, so... n- you're not wrong, dude, because there's no... Absolutely There's not even a sign. Not even a hint, dude. Not even like no, I nothing. saw a vampire fly while this. Nothing, dude. By the There's way, no this like... is a vampire movie, <laughs> like yeah. vampire yeah. horror yeah. movie. Yeah. We... Uh, so now, that, like, fast forward years later, I I look back. Now the beginning of the part movie is my favorite part of the movie. Well, the yeah, first it should, half of the movie. It should be because it's you know the second part's just fun, but the beginning part yeah. is just like a nice tense. That's what I'm saying. Like it will. It's awesome. not a. It's not an action movie. What would it? What would it be like? Like a thriller, kind of like suspense. I, suspense. Thriller? Suspense, probably. Just because it's yeah. like, it's it, it's it's like a. It's like some fucking uh, No Country for Old Men type of shit where it's like. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. You know. A little bit. A, a, a little more sillier, obviously, but. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of a uh, Natural Born Killer at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like the driving down the desert, not like they're they're all running from the cops. They're killing everything in sight. Right. It's, it's awesome. That's another movie Tarantino wrote. Yeah, didn't get paid for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> so, you know not, yeah. not my not my favorite of his writings, but it's, I like that movie. It's but, uh, it's it's uh, pr- it's pretty to look at. <laughs> it's, there's some good uh, yeah, filming visually. Yeah, yeah visually. Oliver Stone. For sure. Yeah, so they they make a left on El Gallo, and once they make that left, that's when the movie just changes, dude. It's 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 a totally different movie, and they're at the this fucking bar come out of a that's comic you, book that's usually how it happens once you cross the border to mexico anyways it's like <laughs> california yeah. hey wait pinch away fucking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right you're not wrong yeah. yeah you're not wrong once once you hit mexico it's fucking yeah. let's hit the club bro <laughs> it's, it's wild dude so they get it to the, this um uh, this i want it's a club biker bar whatever restaurant called the titty twister the titty twister <laughs> And and <laughs> and there's name. there's there's only one person they could put as the bartender. I don't think. Oh, yeah. If it if who it's else? not Cheech, then who else would it be? My yeah. man Danny Trejo, dude. Danny Trejo, <laughs> and he says we got the best food in Mexico. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Seth from look at George Clooney. I highly doubt that. <laughs> but even before they get in, like it's a it's a whole scene because they they have Cheech Marin, which makes his appearance for the second Number time. Number two. Yep. As like the MC, like to get everybody into the into the club. Mm-hmm. You know, he's trying to get everybody inside. This bar whatever. is not is not just like a bar. It's a well, it's it's like okay, it's a bar kind of restaurant. Um, it's like a kind of like burlesque burlesque show. Yeah, kind of. It's a it's like a strip club, dude. It's just like yeah, what the f- it's wide open, dude. And it looks like some yeah. like Aztec temple decoration type of yeah it, it's wild man it's a, it's a whole like what the f- if i were to walk in there I'm like i'm getting the fuck out this is weird this is too much it's it's pretty rough in there yeah but the but the women in there were like top Ooh. notch yeah we'll like... get to that in a second yeah <laughs> yeah so cheech marin and how does he get everybody in the bar 
He announces that there's pussy at the bar. <laughs> there's brown pussy. There's black pussy. There's white pussy. There's pussy. And then he, that, the best line when he that whole monologue he has, he's all, and if you could find uh, pussy for cheaper, fuck it. He gets into the camera. <laughs> Yeah, stinky dude. pussy, the yellow pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude, <it's... laughs> that's, that's fucking he killed it. You could tell, you could tell right away. Tarantino stopped writing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't well, know. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Who know? Who the fuck knows? Well, once they get in there, it's again they uh they're in there. They feel like they won. They're just waiting for the sun to come up, and they're good to go. They're what are like, they doing? Like a drug in... deal, or what? What are they? Well, that no, I don't remember. remember. They're going to Mexico, and mm-hmm. to live in Monterey, they have to in Monterey, Mexico, they have to pay thirty percent. And they won't get bothered. They won't go. They live with that seventy percent. Well, I don't know. They never discuss how much money they have. Yeah. But whatever amount, they're gonna live forever, and they're gonna live fine. They're gonna be. They're gonna be cool. And they have to pay that thirty percent tax to whatever the cartel or whatever they, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh. So that's what they're waiting for. They're just waiting on that. And so, you never see the bag of money. So they leave that much money in the fucking RV, which is weird to me. And in yeah. Mexico, like. The yeah, place, the, the place where cops pull you over just to fucking tax you, <laughs> like that's that happened. place. Yeah, that's happened. <laughs> that's yeah, happened but, to uh, like everybody I've ever met. <laughs> like, yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah. So they're at this uh, bar, restaurant, strip club, whatever, and they order a bottle. They put it down. They're just they're kind of celebrating. That's where you kind of know they're starting to bond now. Yeah, Clooney's right? not as stressed out. He's well, he's like, a little tense because when they get into the bar, there's that guy that gets him by the shoulder. He's keeps like, fucking you're not with a, him. You're, yeah, you're not a truck driver. You're not nothing, so you don't belong here. Yeah. So that's where Harvey Keitel has his back. Like, hey, look, this is my license. I have an RV, so I'm a registered truck with us. So, and they're all, oh, okay, cool. You guys are good. But he's still, Clooney's still pissed off because he had his, somebody touch him. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> which, which, uh, but Harvey Keitel a, backed them up right there, which he didn't yeah, have to do. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. They, they start getting, like, kind of tight. So then they're at the table, the, the kids, him, and they're drinking, and he makes them drink with Clooney. Like, I want all you guys to drink with me. Bam, bam, bam. And they, then the they're all kids, like, kind of, the, yeah, dude. the, the ex pastor. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like they're all bonding. Like, Hey, we made it. Like we're done. Like you guys are good in the morning. I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys are all set. And who knows? He might even break them off a couple bucks, you know, like here. Yeah. You no, know? you know, then this shit just turns Un- into uncle a, Clooney. <laughs> yeah. Uncle hey, thanks Clooney. uncle Clooney. <laughs> yeah. So right after that, you see the, Oh, I, you know, I, I forgot to mention, they kicked the shit out of Cheech Marin. Outside of the bar? Yeah, I forgot to mention that. They kicked the <laughs> shit out of him. I don't remember I that part. Why. That's funny. Yeah, they beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, they, yeah. You're oh, right. You're right. You right, know yeah. why? Oh, I know why. Don't they say... she? He says something to Juliet Lewis. I don't know. I don't know what he says, yeah, but says, I, like, I do remember that they beat his ass. He says something to her, and then they beat his ass. Cause mm-hmm. of, this is where I'm saying they all get kind of tight. Right. You know, so uh, then he George, uh, Cheech Marin walks back in with uh, Tre- uh, Trejo and uh, the big dude. Mm-hmm. They walk in, and they're like... So, Am I, am I am I getting too far ahead of myself? Here? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So that Sorry. that what happens, what you're saying, it does happen, but they're hanging out for a little bit. They're drinking a little bit. They're drinking, having a good it's, time. It's showing like Juliet Lewis takes shots. She's like, "Fuck!" And he's yeah, like, "Nope, awesome. take another yeah. one." It's like, dude, yeah. you're. She's way too young. That little kid yeah. is way too young, dude. And then this is where Clooney's going. I'm gonna fuck those guys up for putting yeah. their hand on me. And then that's where um, Harvey Katt tells, "Hey, dude, you won. Calm down. Like this is over. You got it. Like you already right. won." So he kind of comes down. Then this is where the movie fucking. To me, it's a it changes cinema forever because we see Selma Hayek. Lord, dude, peak. I know what it is. It's fucking Lord, know, man. This that should Hold just on. the name Selma Hayek just makes me sweat. Nah, bro, she's... this is where I don't know what she did before this or after this. I just know this. <laughs> All right, tell tell come... tell me tell me tell me Selma Hayek isn't in the top ten women of all time. Beautiful women, like yeah, to it, this day, to this day, to this day. To this day, to this day, like today, yeah. if you saw her, it's like, oh yeah, she's still fire. This movie came yeah. out eighty years ago, dude. Like she's still. Yeah. Lane, you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, dude, it, it's amazing. Like, uh, so she comes out as like Tarantino the, knew what he was doing, by the way. He's like, oh hell yeah. He's like, I'm gonna write this movie. Uh, cast me as this role, and he's like, why? Please, please, yeah. please, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So Trejo like introduces her like epically. This is whatever, whatever. Like I forgot what the lines were, but he says something. Then Don't she matter. comes out. Doesn't matter. Yeah, she <laughs> comes out with the fucking python on her. I don't know, dude. I, I haven't seen a hotter woman in a in a film. It's amazing. It's and she does this dance where it's like, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> it's like to me, to me, that was just like. Whatever music was playing, I didn't hear any of that. I just heard. No, like I didn't my, hear nothing. Dude. I, I heard, just saw like oh. I heard a white noise. <laughs> yeah. No, I just heard like my own 
soundtrack. Summer Hayek, Summer Hayek. Like, oh, so- <laughs> and mind you, like, speaking of that, that band, the, is it the Lonely Boys? Um, No, I don't know who the, what's that band called? Like, they're in, like, they're in a lot of, ter- uh, uh, Chingon. Rodriguez. Is that what they're called? Um, well, he, he's a part of a band called Chingon. So I don't know okay. if that's them, but that's the well, kind of music. that band is, I know he uses them often and they, they were, they, they were really on in, like in sync with, with her dancing and everything. It was like perfect song for that. Dude, that, that's another thing. Like there's, there's a, um, like I, I collect soundtracks to certain movies. Mm-hmm. That's a good um, one, right? Dude, it's really fucking good. Like yeah, I, good I, I, I collect all the Tarantino ones. I get the Robert Rodriguez ones because these motherfuckers, um, yeah. they, the soundtracks are perfect for these movies, yeah, it's, dude. It's amazing, dude. Amazing. Like the so, the one the one to Desperado, oh, great soundtrack. Dude, another dude. one. That's Robert Rodriguez's best movie. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be yeah, for sure. That that one's the best movie. Um, which again, Selma Hayek. Oh, stop, dude. I yeah. can only get so hard on camera, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to break this computer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to close my little webcam for a second. Art, right, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah dude so Selma, Selma Hayek kills it in this movie and I think she only has like five lines or less but uh didn't keep track <laughs> yeah so anyway she's doing this whole dance solilo- soliloquy or whatever she dance like Tarant- she has her foot in Tarantino's mouth pouring like champagne down it or beer down it or whatever and uh <laughs> so- when the lights turn back on uh, Richie Tarantino's character still like oh my god that just happened like, that yeah was... and then you, you even no he's not everybody... that's not a character I don't know what yeah, character yeah, right. you think you're right no, this was just Tarantino but... like <laughs> yeah, foot, foot just a foot Margot Robbie's feet Margaret Qualley's feet Dakota Fanning's feet seriously Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA <laughs> yeah. But I think everybody felt, every male felt like Clooney after she danced. That was a fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how he acted. That's... That was a fucking show. But I think Clooney... that's how, I think that's how Tarantino got paid, dude. He didn't, they probably didn't even pay him. He's yeah, right. Like... Shit, I would have done that. <laughs> yeah. So as, as soon as, um, as soon as the lights turn back on, it's Clooney flips back. Oh, I'm back in character. Like, hey, let's get focused again. Because he sees three dudes come at him. Mm-hmm. And they're right behind Richie, his brother. So he tells Richie, "Hey, Richie, focus, get back on the clock, let's go." Right. He's like, "Oh, how many? Like, how many are there? Three of them." Now they're back on. They're back psychopaths again. They're mm-hmm. they're, they're ready to go again. Yeah. So as soon as uh, Cheech Marin, yeah, that motherfucker broke my nose, and yeah. this motherfucker kicked me while I was down. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right? Fucking right. Richie. Yeah. 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 So right away, uh, how how did it work? Uh. He's oh that uh, I think Trejo stabs him in the in the hand right. Mm, he sounds stabs, about right. Uh, Taran- he stabs Tar- he stabs Tarantino. Oh, in the hand. that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, because that's where, the, that's where you see the blood like gushing out of his hand, and that's when he you already see the, he already had yeah, an injury, a previous injury. He already had a bullet wound from the beginning scene of the comedian store. And he, he had just taped it. He just he taped just it up. Duct tape. Duct tape, bro. Straight hole. It was a straight hole. N- not like, like yeah. <laughs> he literally did yeah, that. Straight <laughs> hole. Yeah, which is awesome. Which is an awesome scene too. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as blood starts gushing out, you see Selma Hayek kind of like, almost like she's orgasm. <laughs> she's having an orgasm. Right. Like oh shit. And that's where the movie flips. This is like that's it. This is a whole new movie now. You're it's you're not you're not coming back from this, dude. Like yeah. This is this is this, this turned into like a, a epic thriller suspense to a fucking just. The most he, goriest vampire movie. Here's ever. the thing, dude, and and ridiculous. Not just like vampire yeah. movie. Like this isn't like you know, the fucking Lost Boys and shit. This is cranked no. up. Like, yeah. So is here, that ten? We give it up to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Our movie goes up to eleven for sure. Here, yeah. Here's the thing, dude. This is the way I've always seen it right here, Art. The first half of the movie is Tarantino. The second half yeah. of the movie is Rodriguez. That's for sure. That's exactly what it is. But like, and you can tell little, when it starts. It's you can tell when they split, turn the dude. camera like you can tell like Tarantino's like like filming and then, then right when they get to the titty twister, he's like, "All right, dude, your turn." <laughs> he's like, and "I got to like, "Okay." He's like, "I got to take a dump. Can you cover for me?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because so, it's there's no hint of vampires at all, dude. There's not movies that, like that until dude. you see that blood. Until you see that blood coming down of a Tarantino's hand. Right, because like even even other movies that are like that. You go back and watch him, you're like, oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. Yeah, you go back yeah. and watch this movie, you still won't find any Nothing, hint. dude. Not one thing. <laughs> not one thing. 
So, we could uh, be wrong, but I highly doubt that, dude. Nah, uh, nah. Then, uh, so when Selma Hayek, she just turns into this beautiful, like, dancing Aztec queen into, like, now she's just, uh, like, just her face, though. Just a vampire. Just yeah. crazy vampire face. And I mean, it's, and it's, she, one, it's one of those kind of things where you're just like, we're still good. Just cover, cover her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. I was thinking that through the movie. What? <laughs> I think I still would. You know, you know what's stupid, dude? Like, I forget what we were watching yesterday. Um, me and my girl were just watching some YouTube videos goofing off. And she did that move. She's like, oh, she, she's cute, but you got to. <laughs> she did that move, that's dude. Funny. That's where I got that that's from. Funny. That's I got to give her a credit, dude. She, she's funny. funny. She's funny sometimes. Shout out to Steph. <laughs> that's funny. No, so, uh, so Selma Hayek just jumps on Tarantino when she sees the blood and starts biting the shit out of his neck. Like, gory, bro. Like, crazy blood. Yeah. And you're... As a viewer, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> do I get, first of all, I got to get my parents out of this room. I do not want, want them watching the rest of this movie. It's pretty this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. So this is like, all right, so this is crazy. Then uh, guns start blasting. You see the all the girls, like, she, you see one girl just lock the door in the front, which is like a castle fucking door, which is crazy. She puts like that. It's a big ass place, dude. It's a big ass yeah. place. Yeah. So they, they lock it up and she says uh, dinner is served, like, Cheesy Tarantino. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, line, right? yeah. <laughs> Dinner is served. Actually, turns into a fucking vampire. <laughs> the band, the band went from like just this regular rock band, and they turn into like they, they bring out the body guitar. Like it's yeah, dude, a it's, human body. it's a corpse with strings it's on it. It's a corpse. Yeah, <laughs> and but he's still, a vampire. But it sounds good though. It's, like it still sounds good. <laughs> Look at the strings; they're all floppy. Yeah, yeah dude, it's, it's, it's crazy, dude. So they're going crazy. People are dying. People are going like. They don't even know what they're fighting. They're they're shooting at everything. They're fighting, but these things keep coming back. So I don't even know who's the first one to figure out that they're vampires. I don't know. I think I, it's Juliet Lewis. She's like in back of the bar. Yeah. And she's hiding, and uh-huh. then uh, Cheech Marin's trying to get at her. Yeah. Then uh, I guess uh, she has like some some cross with holy water in it. Okay. Remember and that thing, and I think she hits him with it, and his he dies. Like his face like starts like melting. Yeah, I remember a melty scene. I just don't remember how it happened. Yeah, but, um... I, I think it's that, or then uh. You get we get introduced to the sex machine, which is another guy at the bar. Ah, sex a, machine, dude. Um, well, explain sex just machine. A, it's a biker dude, and on his crotch he has like an eight round fucking like a, a three fifty seven. Do you know? Do you know who that is? Uh, he, I don't know, he's a old school like. It wasn't he on Dawn of the Dead. He, his, his name's Tom Savini. Okay. He's. He's a legendary special effects artist, like legendary. Oh, he's, okay. Okay. He's, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you. Like he's, you know, he's up there with, you know, fucking, with your LeBrons and your, I don't know what you, these dudes are called, <laughs> you know. Oh shit! So he's a, a legend. He's a legend, dude. That's why. Yeah, he wasn't Dawn of the Dead. Um, he, he was. He's, he's been in a bunch of movies, but like he's. Like and behind the scenes type of dude. Yeah, yeah. He's building. Well, he was the... good in this movie. He was very entertaining. That's why they put him in there, dude. Like he yeah, he can't he can't act. So he has what you're talking about. His name's Sex Machine. He has a a, a pistol on his um his crotch area on his crotch area. And as soon as shit starts going down, he freaking pops up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it, stupid. Then, uh, it's so have, dumb. They have this other dude too, and I know he's in like a lot of like seventies movies or something. I don't know his name. The black dude, the big dude. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what movies he's well, he's been he's in. Also, um, he's also he's also he's old school horror like of, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So uh, him, him as well. Him and Sex Machine start killing vampires. They're as well. dope as fuck together. They're dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Clooney starts killing them. Then uh, so I think they kill the like, I think they're left like. With the four of them, right? Harvey Keitel, Seth, which is George Clooney, mm-hmm. and uh, the the big old, old black dude, and um, Sex Machine. So it's those four vampire women, remember? Mm-hmm. And then they, they have this little battle, which they kill pretty easily. Yeah. Girls. And the funniest part about that, once they kill them, they're like, all right, who's left? What vampires are left? And they see the band. Let's kill this fucking band. <laughs> and the band's all like, they look around. The band, I like the way that the band looks around like, oh, shit. All right, good night. Good night. <laughs> they just blow. They just blow themselves up. <laughs> oh, I thought that was awesome. So, uh, yeah, that even the the part where um, they're still in awe, like, what the hell were these things? Like, yeah, like, this was weird. Where were these things? Then out of nowhere, uh, Tarantino wakes up as a vampire. 
Yeah, because he Which got is bit. Like a got... Frankenstein looking vampire. He looks fucking gnarly. Yeah, all yeah. the vampires in the movie look fucking crazy. They're like yeah. beefed up and like Nah, some of these vampires look all like like the like, the the vampires. women vampires are like are like more scrawny and shit, but they look yeah, yeah. V- vicious. They look like uh yeah, you know, they but, look but, scary but, as fuck. But like the yeah. guy ones get like big old neck, like weird. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so ter- I think that's the part where you kind of you start feeling bad for Clooney, that little part where, like, now he's got to kill his little brother. Right. So you're like, oh, and you know how tight they were. Yeah, but you know, like, to be fair, he knew, he knew he knew his brother's, like, a little rapey. And like, yeah, but like, like I said, though, no matter what, back, he you, has his back. He yeah, has no his back, what. yeah. For yeah, sure, dude. So, yeah, then he's, uh, he says some cool lines, too, while he stabs him in the heart. Uh, here's to the, li- to the piece I couldn't give you in life that I hope you get. In death or something like that, right? Right, something. Then he just yeah. Stabs him through the heart. That's <laughs> then crazy. he has a shot of whiskey. I just stabbed my brother with a steak that turned into a vampire. Like, the... <laughs> You're like what the fuck's like, going on? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is going on? Dude? <laughs> so good, dude. Even as a viewer, you're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, for like, sure, what dude. What happened? It's so it, I thought that was that, that it, was bad. Like you said, it just switches, dude, and it's like what the, the fuck? switch? I don't think I've ever seen a movie like that that just never, switched. dude. Never, never, never. never, never. Um, yeah, then it turned into his whole, his whole escape route. Like, how do we get out of this fucking place? Because there's you hear all the bats, all everything outside yeah, the place. They're like, right? Yeah, they're they're just swarming. Like, they're not really getting in because it's all locked up. But yeah, and I forget because um, obviously, like, there's only like six of them left, and then uh, little by little, I don't remember how Cart- Kaitel gets bit. Mm, I'm not sure. I forget who who bites him or whatever. The... But you, you know you know what's cool like, uh, um, what's his name? Clooney tells tells Kaitel. He's like he's like you you gotta, he's like here here's this you gotta fucking kill these people. Are you uh uh what does he tell him? Are you like a badass know. fucking pastor? He, or something? He's he's like you're a badass motherfucker of God or he says something like that. Yeah he, yeah yes yeah you're right you're right. And he's like I'm a bad. Mm, Mm, oh yeah. god <laughs> like he doesn't yeah. want to say the word <laughs> yeah so so uh, yeah after know. after sex machine gets like bit and killed and the, the the black dude gets killed as well there's only four of them left which is like you know the the family yeah uh, Car- cartel the son the daughter and Clooney. cartel's already cartel's already bit at this point and yeah. they remember they they all the vampires come in because uh, the big black dude launches, I think, sex machine. Or I forgot how it works. He launches somebody through a window, then all yeah. of them come in. I forgot right. how that works. Yeah, it was something but, like uh, that. When they when they get backed up into the room and they're like, we got to go kill all these vampires, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And Kaitel's all like, look, I got about 30 minutes to help you guys. After that, I'm going to turn into a vampire. Yeah. And uh, so I like the part where he tells his his kids before they go up because they all which is a cool part as a kid you're like oh man I'm gonna go kill vampires and the kids all with the water gun with holy yeah. water yeah like, that's what I, that's probably the most effective out of everybody's like it you're right kids. you're right but the the way the way they set him up was like some Home Alone ass movie like yeah yeah he yeah. has he has Dude, his... they, you seen I I noticed because as a kid I'm like, oh he has water balloons like he has water balloons as a as like with holy water right yeah they're not water balloons they're condoms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Where's he going to get water balloons from? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess over the years, the, these vampires have been killing bikers and storing all the stuff in the room or whatever. So they're, they're looking through the room for weapons. Right. And uh, Juliet Lewis has a badass crossbow. Mm-hmm. Little, you know, she puts crosses in the beginning, in the front of them. Right. So uh, Harvey Cattell has that shotgun. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the little kid has uh, the water gun of the condom water balloons, which is funny. <laughs> and fucking, of course, uh, Clooney, Seth, has that badass fucking like drill with mm-hmm. a wooden stake in front of it, which Ridiculous. is badass. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is fucking badass, which is probably the most least effective weapon because as you're, as you're getting one of them, they like, can get chewed them. up. Yeah, 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 for yeah sure. but whatever. So as they're ready to open the door, like, all right, let's kill all these motherfuckers. Uh, because at this point, Clooney don't care, right? Cause my brother's dead. We're like, yeah. I want to kill as many of these motherfuckers as I can. We're going all out. Yeah. I don't care if I, yeah. And they all they're all on the same boat too. They're like, well, fuck it, let's just go, let's do it. Yeah. I like when <laughs> Harvey Cattell tells his kids, like, all right, I need you two to promise me when I turn, you guys are going to kill me. Like yeah. kids. And uh, they kind of go like, oh, come yeah, on, dad. I like, believe, yeah, I don't believe you. Like, fuck you. I'm yeah. going to shoot myself, whatever. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, okay, okay, we'll kill you. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. and then he, he, tell, he tells Clooney, <laughs> I need you to, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, dude. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> 
I have no problem with that right. whatsoever. All right, all right. <laughs> that we, shit we, was hilarious. We gotta start wrapping this up, dude. We've been this movie. Yeah, there, I... there, there's a lot to talk about. So I, that's why I was like, let's keep going, you know. But yeah, yeah, I get you. But uh, okay, so and so, any... anyway, they, they escape out of the spot and they meet Cheech Marin for the third time. Third time. That's what I wanted to get to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's only Cheech Julia Marin plays George three and... roles, dude. How silly. Crazy. How silly, yeah. dude. Silly ass yeah, movie. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But there's so many good lines in this movie. There's so many, like, I don't know. It's a fun movie, man. It really it's is. A fun it's fun movie. It's really yeah. fun, dude. Just the that switch alone, it's like, I got to see this movie. This is ridiculous, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, if you left to the bathroom and came back at that switch, like, what the hell? Did you put like, on a different movie? You change it? You change yeah. the channel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. It's good stuff, but, dude. Um, what, what, There's something else I wanted to get to. Ah, fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret it later, but whatever. So, but obviously a recommendation from both of us, big recommendation. This yeah, is fun. Man, yeah. If you like, first of all, if you like Tarantino, you'll love this movie. Um, if you like Rodriguez, you'll love this movie. You, exactly. I was going to get to. Um, and any, if you like Selma Hayek, you'll love bro, this movie. If you fucking. Dude, Selma Hayek, for real, dude? Dude, you got. I don't, I don't Even as a vampire, when she says, I'm going to call you Spot and have, like, you're going to be my slave. That's fine. I wasn't really mad at that. I wasn't That's really fine, mad at dude. that. You know, like oh, if I was Clooney, I was like, "Hey, this isn't that bad." This, you know? this is. I'm gonna live a different life now. After hey, I man, get bit, you know? it's gonna be a little different. Um, it's not that bad. But, you know, <laughs> this is my wife now, so it's just yeah. This is my life. <laughs> <sighs> that, to so, so to Selma. Yeah. Cheers, brother. <laughs>